Hi everyone, it's Katherine and welcome back to my channel. Also welcome back to day 7 of Vlogmas. I'm so happy to be back because yesterday was the first time I ever defaulted on Vlogmas, but I have a very good reason for that. I was quite literally on my deathbed dying of a cold and I think I got sick for my birthday weekend because all my friends and I are sick now and it's not the best timing, but here we are pushing through. So today's video is gonna be fairly quick and easy. I just wanted to do a quick like sit down video that I could get out for you guys at least. So I'm going to be showing you my winter makeup routine that I use every single day just as an everyday like easy look to recreate and I'll also show you all my products that I use. So to start us off, I typically start my day with the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. This is all I use for my skincare because I never really have bad acne per se but I do struggle with uneven skin tone sometimes so that just helps like even it out for me and then I go in and use my Hemp's, I use the White Peach Rose and Peony Lotion. Lotion. Both of these you can find at Target. Actually all my products you can pretty much find at Target So this is also a very affordable makeup look and then I'm gonna go in with all my makeup products They're in the Ziploc bag because recently I've been traveling a lot and I don't have a makeup bag to take with me So every time I have to go through like TSA I have to put them all in a clear Ziploc bag, which is why they're still in here to this day So bear with me for that funny thing about like my makeup routine I actually never really had a makeup routine until this past summer and that's because I grew up never really learning how to do my foundation or contouring or any of that which sounds crazy because I feel like now doing your makeup is just a necessity and I never really understood why girls get up at the crack of dawn to do their makeup every day until this year. For some reason as a teenager I really struggled with learning how to do foundation and contouring and stuff like my mom tried to show me, but even she didn't really understand how to do makeup back then. So it was like really hard for me to learn. I also never really was acne prone. Like I had a lot of friends who struggled with acne in their teenage years. I never had any of those problems. I feel like the worst problems I've had have just been surrounding my uneven skin tone at times, but even that has not been like terrible. What's weird about that though is that I do get regularly asked like what foundation do I use, what products do I use, and I always have to say like oh I actually don't use anything and it always surprises people so much. So I did finally learn this year how to do foundation and contouring for the first time. I still haven't tried a bronzer so haven't gotten that far, still don't also use a concealer so neither of those products are going to be part of this routine. I'm starting with the e.l.f. Halo Glow contour wand. So I start with this one before my foundation just to give my skin a tint and I feel like it's really helped just because I tend to have like paler skin than the average person and you can especially tell right now on camera and then just go in and blend those. But yeah, I feel like the fact that I've just gotten compliments without even having makeup or foundation on my skin just to me was like an indicator that okay maybe i didn't really need to wear makeup but i did start to learn how to do it this year and i'm actually really happy i did because now i genuinely understand why people get up so early to do it because it really does make a difference like even though it might not make a difference to the other people in your life or they might not really notice i definitely see a difference it just gives you like that instant confidence boost that you just need to start your day so you can already see we're starting to get a skin tint already. I don't know if it's fully blended, but that's the best I'm gonna do for now. We're actually gonna use this wand again, so just put it aside for now. Next, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Bear With Me Blur um, foundation. It's in the shade 4 Light Neutral, and I've been really liking this foundation. I feel like I kind of want to switch eventually and try maybe like the elf halo one because i've heard a lot of good things about it but i feel like this one is good enough for now i think the biggest thing i was scared of when it came to foundation was just like finding the right shade for me because i have a very unique complexion i also don't use a ton of foundation though because as you can tell that already looks so much better and my point is just to have an even skin tone that's really what i struggle with now we're going in again with the same contour stick and we're just going to do the same thing, the same shape on both sides. And then top of the forehead, 
like six dots going across at this point I'm also gonna do my nose because I don't usually do that one first just because my nose gets darker quicker um, but we'll add that in for now and then just blend everything out and then when you get to your nose you don't want to do the middle part really because the point is to give it some dimension so I don't really touch that it's just really the sides and then if I'm feeling a little crazy do the front like this but just a tiny bit on the tip okay so that is after the second round of contouring next I'm gonna go in with my blush so this is the main difference between my summer makeup routine and my like fall slash winter routine is that I do change my blush so for summer I would use the rare beauty blush in the shade happy I just got this one for my friend um, but I feel like that's more for a summery like glowy look and for winter since I'm much paler I want just a very like natural simple look um, but also like still want the rosy cheeks because I feel like that's very Christmassy and so I want to keep that what I've been using lately is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand. This one is in the shade Pinkgasm, I believe, and I've really been liking it. The only thing I don't like about it is that it's so little product that it runs out really quickly, but I think we're actually on the last of it, but I will make the sacrifice for this video. So with the Pinkgasm, I wouldn't say it's like very pigmented, so you can apply a good amount on the cheek because I think throughout the day it's gonna um, fade out so you actually need a lot of it on there in comparison to like Rare Beauty which I feel like you barely put one drop and it's already so pigmented and that's a lot this one actually takes a lot for it to show up on your face something unique that I do I don't feel like everyone does this I put it on the sides of my nose because I really like having like that rosy look um, all throughout like the middle part of my face and so that's what I do obviously that's optional if you don't want to do that I like to just blend it up into my hairline as well so I'll do it all the way up we're going in with the highlighter this is the Charlotte Tilbury one I actually bought these two in a set so I have the blush and the highlighter and I feel like they go really well together this one you don't need a lot of because it comes out like very full the way I apply my highlighter is just going down my nose first so, like right here and then just the tip I kind of skip like this portion right here just because it's a lot already go down to my lip chin and then it looks weird right now like over here but once you have lipstick on it'll be fine and then right here on the cheekbone upper cheekbone those are like the main areas this next part is also optional but i think it makes it look a little bit more glowy and nice i put it right underneath my eyebrow here on the end and also on the, and also on the top here Obviously that's optional according to what your preference is if you don't want that much of a glowy look I just like it because I like to put highlighter wherever the Sun like really hits my face I'll start by blending it out with the sponge first and then I'll go back in with my brush and do it all again But if you notice in this video now that we're doing a close-up You might notice I have shorter than average eyebrows and that is not purposeful when I was a little kid, I want to say around like 10 or 12-ish, I really wanted to wax or do my eyebrows at home, which was a terrible idea. Worst idea you could have, but I was a kid, I was a little girl, okay? So I decided that it would be a great idea to take my mom's shaver and shave like the edge of my eyebrow so I could make a nice shape. Don't ever do that. It was the worst mistake of my life. I ended up shaving off like the tail of my eyebrow on the side. Terrible idea. If you're a teenager watching this, don't ever do that to yourself. You'll regret it for the rest of your life. So I shaved off the tail ends of my eyebrows um, and they just never grew back the same way. And I have to live with that now, unfortunately. 
I think the other terrible part of the story is that when I was even younger, I think it was around six or seven, we had like a huge rectangular dining table in our kitchen and I was like running around, you know, as little kids do. And I ran into the very corner edge of our dining table, ended up splitting my eye open right here. And now I actually have a scar because I had to go to the ER and get stitches and never had my eyebrow hair grow back there. So those two incidents combined have just transformed my eyebrows into shorter ones than the average person. So be careful what you do as a kid because it will come back to haunt you. Now we're gonna go in with this brush and just even it all out again after using the sponge. Obviously you can do it however you wish, but this just blends it in better for me. And then the last two things we're gonna do is do my mascara and my lipstick. So now we're gonna do my mascara. I'm gonna use my mirror because I like physically cannot look at you and do this, so. I'm gonna look away for a second. I don't envy very much about men. The one thing that I do envy actually, and this is not even all men, but I do envy when men have longer lashes than like the average girl. That's just the most annoying thing to me. I'm like, how are your lashes so long and how are you born with them? And then the mascara I'm using is Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I typically like the mascaras that are super thin and don't leave your eyelashes feeling super clumpy. I'll go in and like um, do this again in a minute. But they look pretty decent. I don't have like the best eyelashes though. Mine are very like average. Now we're on the last step of my makeup routine and I'm just gonna go in with my lipstick. Currently I've been really loving the, I don't know how to say this, I think it's the Maracuja Juicy Lip Lipstick and it's a lipstick but it's also a lip plumper which i really like just the convenience of that this is also the shade hibiscus which is my favorite one the only downside of this one is because it's more of like a gloss than the lipstick it won't really last all day like if i eat or something i'll have to reapply it but I will say it's still one of my favorite like lipsticks that I've tried. I like the fact that it's very light and easily applicable. This is my winter makeup look. Obviously on camera it looks a little washed out, but I feel like in person it looks so much better. And I think it's very easy, simple, fast to do for an everyday look. Like this is the same look I use to wear to work every day, to run errands. And obviously I'd have to like do a setting spray for this. I just don't have one right now but it's very fun, very easy. The other thing I'll say about this is all the products are very affordable. It's pretty much drugstore, so you can find all of these things either at Target or like Sephora, one of the mainstream makeup stores too. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here, but I hope you enjoyed this very fast, fun tutorial of my winter makeup routine. And I'll probably do another makeup routine in the summer. The way I do my routines, are very catered to the seasons. Obviously in the winter I have very pale skin so my routine is gonna look a little different than in the summer when I have very like tanned glowy skin and my skin tone like fluctuates literally based on that so that's kind of how I cater all my routines. I hope that this was helpful and that you found some products that you might really like. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll also link all my socials down below in case you want to follow me or anything. And I will see you guys tomorrow for the next day of Vlogmas. Bye!